All right, you guys want another one? Whoops, sorry about that, little friend. Oh, no, we're not little friends anymore. <gasps> what was that about? Oh my gosh, they're chasing me. Oh my gosh, what just happened here? I thought we were buds. I was feeding you. Oh my goodness, okay. Somehow I have oh, still infuriated these little ones. What just happened? I thought everything was totally fine and we were like going to be good friends and the little Psyducks were eating out of my hands. I was legitimately getting ready to come back in and tell you guys like, oh, look at how beautiful and peaceful it is. Who cares if we ever make it into the deep forest? I could just spend my entire day like feeding Psyducks. And literally as I was thinking that, they went ahead and they like turned on me. Maybe they really don't like cherry berries. Note to self. All right, well, you know what, you two? <laughs> that was completely unnecessary. Also, look, there's a fiddlehead fern right here. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, that was completely unnecessary. You guys did not need to do that. And I am absolutely gonna go ahead and boink you with a Pokeball now. So, take that. Take that. All right, let's see if we got both of them. I can't believe those two. Oh, we did get both of them! Yay! All right! And I got a medical leak. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Pokemon Legends in the Hisui region, where I have just been, like, somewhat viciously reminded why you shouldn't feed wildlife, and also why the Pokemon are still somewhat dangerous. Also, I did just notice that we actually have gotten to the point now where our wonderful Badoof could evolve. However, I have promised my beloved Chips that our main Badoof would never evolve because Badoof is just the best. However, we will get one of her siblings who will go ahead and be the Badoof that we evolve so we can continue to fill out and work on our Pokedex. Also, what was that Psyduck? Jeez! Well, at least we gave it enough food that we can turn in a lot of information about it. Neither of those two are very heavy specimens. And I think we don't have an electric type Pokemon with us right now, but we're definitely going to be adding, attacking them with electric type Pokemon to the list of things we need to experience. My goodness. All right, and let's actually go ahead and I'm going to have Munchlax maybe help us out for a bit. I still don't remember when I caught you, little friend. That's just what happens when you have, like, the memory of, I guess, a Wurmple. Maybe I shouldn't judge the Wurmples. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and catch the Wurmple while we're at it. I'm just going to keep moving. Oh, did it get out? Oh, it got out! Little one, do I already have a Wurmple? Let's actually check. You could come join me. I have some delicious food. Let's see. I do already have some Wurmples. However, if we catch more of them, it will help out number of light specimens we've caught, number defeated. All right, come on. Don't you want to come with me? Into the Pokeball. Maybe I need to stay, like, within... Oh, oh, he's running away. Oh, he poofed. All right. I won't, I won't force that Wurmple out if he doesn't want to come with me. However, he could have, like, followed along, joined me as I gather all of these mushrooms in this adorable forest, and just kind of see what the wild has waiting for us. Also, let's see if we can catch some of these Baneris. An unsuspecting Baneri. Nice back strike on that one. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna have to start getting more creative. It's not gonna be as easy as it used to be, I think, to go ahead and catch some of these Pokemon. So let's put down a little bit of food. Oh, and giving it some food is actually on our Poke list of things to go ahead and pay attention to. All right, we're gonna try catching this one. Yes, all right, we got a Veneri. That one's not being completely wary. Dang it. All right. Ooh, and there's an Oron Berry. Oh, cool. And you actually get a bunch of points for number caught. Uh, oh, I don't have space in my satchel for any more Oron Berries. That's not going to do. I need to be able to, like, gather all of the delicious food for all of the Pokemon to go ahead and try out. All right, let's go ahead and craft ourselves up some more Pokeballs. I think we're doing an absolutely fantastic job on being able to go ahead. Lots and lots of tumble stones now. Wait, I don't have enough room in my Pokemon. Okay, there we go. 
All right, there we go. And then Munchlax, can you help us gather these berries? Excellent, a lot of Na'ad berries. <laughs> All right, we are doing it, you guys. We are starting to really adventure and explore and try to see what types of Pokemon we can stumble upon and who we can actually go ahead and add into our Pokedex, the research we can do. And we're doing all of it while... Well, eh. Ah, there we go. And we're doing all of it while being able to adventure out in a big, beautiful world. All right, let's actually see if I can check out this guy right over here and maybe catch him oh geez all right let's get up the cliff first this tiny little cliff all right what about you friend oh that's about you friend huh all right let's actually let robin come out Yee! jeez beautiful <laughs> We don't need such drama. Okay, let's actually do... Ooh, let's do Aerial Ace to kind of level up that skill we have. Oh, dear. And there goes the Beautifly. Well, that's okay. Robin is just really strong. Oh, our little Abra can actually evolve. It's not... It doesn't want to be a little baby anymore. Okay, we might evolve our Abra very soon here. Because I actually think that would be kind of cool. All right, we'll go ahead and evolve our Abra. Whoops. Well, actually, you know what? Before you do that, I love this because you really want to like slow down a little bit and make sure that you kind of investigate. Wait a second. I want to evolve the Abra that we have, but hang on. Are there research tasks that only Abra can do? And it looks like mostly the research tasks for Abra are centered around catching it, light specimens caught, number caught without being spotted, number defeated. So a lot of that is interacting with wild Abra. Number of times you've seen it use teleport. That would also be a wild Abra, I think. And, you know, it's just scaring it off. So actually, we could learn some valuable data if we go ahead and let Abra evolve. So let's do that. All right, Abra, you want to go ahead? Oh, actually, I don't think I ever checked your summary. Our little female Abra, who I think is ready to grow up. She's very careful. And she must have been kind of older. Ready to become a teenager, basically. Oh man, this is so cool. Wah! Oh yeah, we got the spoon! And now she has become a Kadabra, and she got the idea for a new move. All right, so she has grown up, which is pretty awesome. Wow. So now she has teleport and confusion. And now we are, I guess I could have tried to use teleport with the Pokedex, uh, but now with a Kadabra in our party, we now have... Number of times you've defeated a Kadabra with bug type moves. Number of times you've seen it use Calm Mind, Psycho Cut. Number of different forms you've obtained and number you've evolved. All right, so we might want to have her learn a little bit more in terms of skills. Oh, I wish I could collect this wood. My Bidoof would be so happy if I could. Mm, dang it. But we might need to wait until she has more skills and then we'll be able to go ahead and see some of her special moves. Also, I wish I could upgrade my satchel. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have Munchlax help me out again. <gasps> it's the Psydox again! All right, little friends. You guys are actually quite the handful. Yes, I'm talking about you. So let's see, what do I need to learn about some Psydox? Because I, I kind of want vengeance. Number defeated, number of heavy specimens caught, number defeated with electric type moves. All right. I don't have anybody in the party right now who could actually help us out with electric type moves. I don't believe. Nope. However, I'm tempted to go ahead and battle that Psyduck for the sake of vengeance. Oh my gosh, that Wormpole just tried to go in the tree. That was adorable. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of Psyducks down here. Well, I can't, I can't just leave this unresolved. Ooh, actually. This guy is kind of wary. However, I mean, if he would just get in the Pokeball, that'd be kind of cool. All right. <gasps> Yay! Oh, and our Bidoof knows a new move. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and grab more Oron Berries. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, buddy. 
And this Psyduck was trying to climb up in the tree. I never thought about that, but there are duck species that actually go up in trees. So that would be kind of cute. Oh, we got another heavy Psyduck. Wow, look at this forest. There's Silicoon over here. Oh, I love this. There's little cliffs we can climb. It looks like there are some Staravias, maybe, in the distance. Whoops, okay, do not want to throw the Pokeball. But what I do want, oh, hello, little one. This is kind of fun, because you just have like all the wild Pokemon kind of frolicking between you while you're going ahead and working your way through exploring the world. All right, any plants I can collect over here? What's this down here? Dazzling honey, wow! I wonder if the bug type Pokemon leave those behind. All right, Munchlax, can you gather that? Good job, Stardust, Black Tumblestones. I feel like Munchlax, our, our Munchlax is quite eager. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a Baneri! But I feel like our Munchlax would be quite eager to go ahead and try to help us. Backstrike with any of the berries that need collected. Now that I think about it, if- Oh, move mastered! Sweet! Now that I think about it, Munchlax must have to work really hard in order to get enough food to be able to survive every day. Because they need to eat so, so, so much, you know? Alright, you want to get in here? So if Psyduck re recognize that you have food, they will get quite fussy if you do not feed them. Can I climb up here? Ah, we'll worry about that later. All right. And so let's slow down for just a second, actually, because this means that we are actually headed up to this gigantic tree, which is pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. It looks beautiful. And at this tree, it's considered to be the house of one of the lords of the clans, one of the Pokemon lords at that. So I want to treat that with some degree of respect. They've clearly set up a lot of really fantastic... Yeah, look at that. I think it's a Scyther, based off of the art that they have put here. They've put some fantastic artwork to really signify that we're entering a special space. So let's get ready. Let's have Ryuku ready just in case. Oh, it's that boy that everyone told me about. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Or I guess he would be a Cleavor, huh? And you, I've already deduced that you're, you've are you come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Shino's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with an awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. Um, I'll do anything. Because I'm supposed to. Oh, such earnest desire to meet the mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. <laughs> yeah, the real issue is we could die. I've been told under no uncertain terms by Idra that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself and you and you assist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Um, I'll take you on. You don't even realize how I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. So, Gumi, uh, go Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Okay, that's adorable. Oh, he's so cute! Ryuku! Could you, could you take care of this adorable little tiny Gumi, please? Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do a nice, strong style leafage fight just to see what happens. I could pay attention to types, but that would, that would actually have to go ahead and, you know, be an effective way to do these things. I don't even know if you guys would know what to do if I actually paid attention to, like, type matching. You'd probably freak out. But anyway, let's see. Maybe Aerial Ace. Oh, Gumi, jeez, the heck? He's getting close. All right, come on, Ryuku. And there he goes. The battle has been decided. Ryuku's back feathers look amazing, by the way. Sorry, kid. 
truly, I'm, I'm here to help out. How, how can this be? I may, I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try to make him an offering. That's like a big pet food bowl. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, right here, and their cohort drew on Almighty Shino's power, own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said. It is by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still live in vast Hisui today. Arita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Shino that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I had hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throwing our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. Hang in there, kid! You! Stranger from beyond the sky! Wow, my rumor of my legend has preceded me. Tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out! Sure! Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of the vast Susui. I like how the main goal is to try to be kind to the Pokemon instead of just like, all right, let me just like go beat some sense into him with my, my leafage abilities. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. <gasps> oh, that's so useful. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that actually is fantastic, especially because Ryukyu is a little bit tired. So now we want to head to the base camp and report what we've learned to the professor. Uh, well, that is wonderful. Let me just go ahead and do that, please. All right, so we made it all the way to the Grand Tree Arena. Past Tidewater Dam. It was a little dam. I knew it. I knew we were, like, not able to get too close to there. Uh, also, also, we want to go to Aspiration Hill. So let's go here. Oh, thank goodness. Yay! All right, Professor. I had a lot of fun chasing Psyduck. Good to see you, Siri. And how is your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, oh is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Yay! All right, and I turned in a whole bunch of these bits of information. Completely forgot about chasing all those Stanler around the place. I have achieved 10 or more Pokemon and one report. Thank you very much. Seven different species caught. <gasps> Look how much money we have. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> all right, even more cash. I can get all the potato mochi with that. And let's see all the completed research on... Rollins, Charlie, which I knew. Geodude, excellent. Dartrix, which is really cool because we like legitimately just evolved you. And we completed our research on Psyduck. So they don't like cherry berries. They like mushrooms and they like some wheat that I haven't run into and they like some like beans I haven't run into. Let's see. And then we can see what the preferred foods for Silcoon, Boneri, who we've almost caught enough of, and Kadabra could be. Oh, that's so cool. They carry medical leaks and balls of mud. Oh, and I also ended up getting, wow, apparently Paris eats basically like any food you offer them. I wonder where the berries are on that though. Huh. Cause there's mushroom, honey, like wheat. I wonder if the next thing represents berries. I'm not sure. And then Staravia we're working on learning quite a bit about. Burmy, oh, we've almost researched everything about Burmy. 
I like this, you guys. We're really like getting along with these updated entries, which is quite fun. All right, 15 new species registered. <gasps> we could be a new star rank. All right, now that I have successfully studied Psyducks, we should definitely go ahead and report to the captain so that I can get a new rank because of my Psyduck intelligence. So, according to the information you were able to learn from Arida and Lian of the Pearl Clan, uh, were these the normal course of events that Frenzied Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other component of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from this frenzy? By your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Ooh. Well, he's really going for it now. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Like, just a rustle, rustle, rustle. Dig, dig, dig. Think, think, think. Meanwhile, the two of us are, like, exchanging stories of being out in the field in the background. Eureka! Oh, one of my favorite words. We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the aim for throwing things, haven't you, Siri? Wait, what? I've already been doing that for ages. Might I suggest you take Cleavor's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, sure. Yes, it's all coming together. We'll just eat the food at his head. Excellent, Professor. I, I, th this is clearly the valuable data I have brought back from throwing berries at Psyducks. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved food into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles? Well, how about tea time balls? Put one puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Laventon balls? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the, the one being launched at, by our frenzied friend. In any case, we could rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set off from the Heights Camp, eh? Oh, and there we go. So they're just going to, like, have me literally yeet the food at the Cleavor's head. That is not the result I expected. But it is the result we have. Also, can I get a promotion, please? Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you become incapacitated, recruit. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I'll judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Yes? Yes, yes? What do you think? Yes, yes? Good, good information about these Psyduck, eh? Eh? Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yes! How many ranks are there? Ten? All right. We're working our way up the ranks, guys. That actually makes me feel really good. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Feather balls, huh? Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Alright, feather balls. Apricorn, Sky Tumblestone. And Super Potions. A pep up plant and a potion. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Sweet! All right! You guys! We're making progress! This is awesome! Also, hey you! I would very much like to carry more things in my satchel, please. Like, take the money. I want to make sure we can go ahead and have as much room as possible in our satchel. Especially because we already have a whole bunch of money. What else am I going to use it on right now? It's not like I can buy my Pokemon cute little hats yet. Or ever. But still. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and have him teach us one more time. And now I should be able to carry enough ingredients around that I don't have to worry too much about running out of good stuff. Sweet. Alright, so what does my satchel look like now? Thank you very much, satchel man. And... 
Not bad, not bad. I think I need to go ahead and store all of my mushrooms in the house, but then we can go ahead and get moving again. So we can be out and about into the forest where I thought we would have to do something super complicated, but it's actually just throwing food at like Cleavor's head apparently, which I can totally manage. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you guys could do please leave a like for, um, you know, the lessons we have learned from Psyduck. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.